Welcome to Creative Tian Channel. Today we have a hand knitting project for a neck warmer. And we are going to use very thick yarn, so it works very quickly. For this project, I'm using Lion Brand War Ease Thick and Quick. And this is a super bulky yarn. And I use nine millimeter circular needle. Here is a sample I make. It's by increasing and decreasing stitches to make like uh, 3D bubbles. And I'm using the same concept on the neck warmer, except I have different stitches for the area that's outside the bubble. So you can see it more clear. And first I'm going to show you how I knead the bubble when it's knitted flat. And each section I have three stitches. So each repeat is like six stitches, three outside the bubble and three for the bubble. And depends on which part you want to end with. You can have multiple of six stitches or multiple of six plus three stitches. And for this sample, everything is neat stitches. I already create first bubble and I'm going to show you how I do the second bubble. And for the second layer, I'm going to have bubble in between the first two bubbles. So for the first part, the bubble stitch start with three, four, and five, and then skip three, and then three stitches for bubble. And for the second layer of bubble, I'm going to be offsetting. So I'm going to start with first three stitches as bubble, and uh, then three stitches, and then three stitches for the bubble, and then three stitches for the background. So I just finished the first layer, and I even do a line of the pearl stitch, so you can see where the first part ends. You don't have to do the pearl stitch, you can do the knit for this round. For the first row, I'm just going to knit plain knit stitch for the whole row. For the back side, I'm just going to do pearl stitch for the whole row. Now I'm going to start to increase to make a bubbles and I'm going to do it on the first three stitches, skip three and do the second set of the three stitches and we'll repeat that to the end. So for the bubble increase, we do knit front and back for those three stitches. So you will be six stitches from the three. We have six stitches here, and then I'm going to need the next three stitches. And then again, increase, knee front and back for the next three stitches. So six stitches here, and then knit three for the background stitch. For all the stitches on the back side, you'll be just purl. All the increase and decrease will be in the front side. Now we're going to start the front again, and we will do another increase. So for the first six stitches, so we need front and back until we have 12 stitches. And the three stitches for background, we keep it the same, need three stitches and then increase the six stitches into the 12 stitches and we keep repeating that now i have 12 stitches i'm going to need uh, three stitches and then do the increase again. 
knee front and back for the next six stitches. And the next row will be pearl again for the back side and then we can start to decrease. Now we are back to the front. We are going to do the first decrease. We have 12 stitches here so we can just knit two together for all 12 stitches so it will turn into six stitches. And then we need three stitches and then the decrease again from 12 to six stitches. I just do need two together. We do six times. And then three neat stitches. And then continue the need two together six times. And we'll keep repeating that. And then we'll do the pearl stitch in the back side. Now you can start to see the bubble when we start decreasing. We are going to do one more row of decreasing. Now we have the six stitches for the bubble. We need two together, we'll become three stitches again. And then in the next three stitch, and then knit two together for the next six stitches and we'll keep repeating that. So knit two together knit two together now we are back to the three stitches for the bubble and then knit next three stitches and then knit two together for the next six stitches. Then we'll purl the back side again. So that's how you make bubbles and you can do the same to knead a row of purl if you want that textured line or you can just continue going the next bubble will be starting on the fourth stitch, knit three, and the fourth, fifth, and sixth stitch you can start increase, and then three stitches of the background stitch just knit, and then three stitches of increase. Another variation is to use different stitch for the background stitch. That's a three stitches in between the bubbles, and for this project. I need uh, pearl stitches for the three stitches in between the bubbles so you can see the bubble stitches clearly. I cast down 54 stitches and need three rows of one by one knitting. You can cast down any stitches as long as it's multiple of six and I have three stitches for the bubble, three stitches for the background just like the sample. The only difference is when you knit back and forth, knit it flat, you have to turn over and then purl. But if you knit it in the round, you cannot turn over and you just knit one more round with knit stitch and it's the same. So I start by increasing those three stitches and then one round of plain knitting and then increased again from six stitches to 12 stitches and then one more round of plain knitting and then we'll start decrease by knee two together back to six stitch one round of plain knitting and then knee two together back to three stitches and then knit one round again and in between the bubble stitches I have three stitches of pearl I will have the pattern in my blog creativetn.com if you want to see more my first three stitches will be the pearl stitch. That's the stitches we want to make into bubble. So I will purl front and back to make it two stitches 
and then purl front and back, purl front and back. So the three stitches will become six stitches. So move the yarn to the front. Let's purl front and back. The third one, pro, and then pro the back one. Now we have six stitches here. And for the previous bubble, the three stitches, we'll just need three stitches. Now the knit stitches will be in the background. And then purl again, purl front and back for the next three stitches. And then knit the next three stitches. And we'll keep repeating for the whole round. Now we are back to the beginning. You can always add a stitch marker if you want to know where the beginning of the round is. Or you can just tell by the yarn when you cast on, that's the beginning. For the next round, we will just knead the knead and purl the purl. We'll purl the six stitches and then knead three, purl six, knead three, and repeating for the whole round. Need three. And then pro six again. The next round is another increase. For the six stitches, we will increase it into 12 stitches by purling front and back. And then we keep the three knee stitches and then increase the six stitches by purling front and back to double the stitches and then knit three stitches and then increase, knit three, increase for the whole round. It can get a little tight because it's a lot of stitches. For the next round, I just want to follow the stitches. So I need the knee stitches and the purl the purl stitches. So the first 12 stitch will be purl and then 3 stitches for knit and then 12 stitches of purl. And we just keep repeating that. And always remember to move the yarn to the front for purl. In the next round, we are starting to decrease. We have 12 stitch here and we want to decrease to 6 stitch. So we can do purl 2 together. Just purl 2 stitches together 6 times. Now we have 6 purl stitches. And then we need the next three stitches. And we purl two together again for the next 12 stitches. So you'll be six purl stitches left. One, two. The next row will be following the stitches again. We purl the six stitches and then knee three, purl six, knee three, all the way around. The next round will be our last decreasing round. We have six stitch here. We are going to purl two together, purl two together, purl two together. It will be three of the purl stitches. And then we need the next three stitches. And then repeat, purl two together, purl two together, purl two together and then knee three stitches. Purl two together. Purl two together. 
go through together. Now we are back to three stitches. And then we need three stitches. And we pull two together again. You can see all the bubbles are very obvious now. For the next row, we can knit the knee and purl the purl. So you will be starting with three purl stitches, three knit stitches, three purl, three knit, and that will be the last row of the bubble. And you can continue repeating the first bubble again by increasing the knit stitches, or you can just stop and knit a few rows of ribbon to finish the neck warmer. So I'm just going to do a few rows of knee one per one to match the beginning and then bind off. So I will just need three rows of one by one ribbing now and bind off. And I just bind off in pattern. If you make it bigger and flat, it will be a nice blanket and you will be reversible too. Thank you for watching today and happy knitting.